provincial losses to Clare and Carlo had plunged these two into early qualifying action. In front of a sparse crowd at the Gaelic grounds, Billy Lee and Seamus McEnany knowing it was now, now or never, in terms of their championship ambitions this year. The opening stages were cagey. It took until the 11th minute for the game's first score to arrive. A fine one it was, though. Seamus O'Carroll turning superbly before easing a terrific effort over the bar. Kieran Ling and Jer Collins then exchanged pointed frees before Ling received from Ben Brosnan, checked onto his left, and level matters at two points apiece. After scoring 1 1 off the bench against Clare, Josh Ryan was handed a start for Limerick. And in an impressive first half showing, the 19-year-old showed superb athleticism to conjure a scarcely believable point with his back to goal. But in a tight first period, there was to be an immediate repost from the visitors. Michael Furlong's second point of the half, easing Wexford back in front, five points to four. It was ebb and flow now, Limerick captain Ian Corbett and Ling from a free traded points before an errant kickout from Donal O'Sullivan was to bring about a Wexford goal chance. Adrian Flynn linking with PJ Banville. His effort though touched up and over as O'Sullivan redeemed his error. Playing with the aid of a stiff breeze in the first half, Limerick finished well, substitute Sean McSweeney with a pointed free and then a great chance for Billy Lee's side to go in ahead. Dara Tracy upended by Owen Nolan, referee Patrick O'Sullivan awarded the penalty. Corbett's efforts had plenty of venom, but also plenty of air. Seven points apiece at the interval. With defences on top and the resumption, Wexford showed patience aplenty to notch the opening two scores. And in Banville, an inside forward finding his range. Back-to-back -back points from the Horswood man as Wexford eased two points in front. Limerick boss Billy Lee had this week urged his inexperienced side to embrace the pressure. And after points from Danny Neville and Jamie Lee had drawn the side's level for the seventh time, teenager Ryan produced a surging run to bear down on goal. His shot, though, repelled by a fine save from Shane Roach. The only previous championship meeting of the counties in a 2011 round four qualifier was won in added time by Limerick. And this one was also going right to the wire. A superb effort from Ling edged the visitors in front with eight minutes to go. But Limerick then went right down the other end. Brian Fanning setting up Danny Neville, who stretched, got the touch ahead of Roach, but saw it creep agonisingly wide. Dara Tracy would tie it up at 11 points apiece before the impressive Banville won and then converted this free. Limerick would have their chances to force extra time, but their accuracy deserted them late on. In a game that was never the finest spectacle, it was all about the win. Banty's brigade can now look ahead to tomorrow's draw. For Limerick, two one-point defeats in three weeks means an early end to their championship year.